okay this is where things get very um interesting i got this question is squirting involuntary urination <laughs> whoa i may have to do research to answer this question hey guys welcome back to my channel how have you guys been dolly is great and i'm so so happy to be back filming videos for you guys so sometime within uh this week let me say last week because when you guys watch this video it would have been last week but sometime within um last week i posted uh, a question on my in uh, my IG stories, like I wanted you guys to ask me questions on all things bedroom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Most of my um, subscribers are adults. <sighs> Anywho, I hope uh, you know any teenager that watches my videos gets to learn something from this video. Okay, so yeah, let's jump straight into it because the questions. Grab a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, wine. A cocktail, champagne, anything that works for you because these questions were the question. Oh, I got this question. Oh my god, <laughs> how do you manage sex on your period? Okay, well, 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 first things first, I don't get you know all the cramps, pains, and all of that during my period. I have it most some months, I do get you know a little bit of cramps here and there, but usually I'm good. So, I know I'm rambling, but to answer this question, um, I usually don't get intimate during my period because my body, I get my period like he, um, heavy flow the first two days and then the third day it is, you know, not so heavy. Yes, hobby and nice. Sometimes on the third day when he's like, are you still on your period? I'm like, yeah, but just drops and you know, I have this other question from Chazem as Azania. Yes, I'm going to be calling you guys names because some of these questions I'm giving you guys the side eye right now. Oh, she said, I don't have any questions, just letting you know that you are so gorgeous and I can't wait to see you in Dubai. Yes, girl, I can't wait to I can't wait to get to meet more of you. And yeah, I can't wait to meet you as well. So I'm sending you lots of love and positivity. Miss Lechi M U A, she asks this awkward sex. How do you talk about it and improve it? <sighs> Honestly, I'll say almost every girl has been through it. You know, when you're growing up, you get to have sex with somebody and then you don't even know how to feel and you don't even know if you did the right thing by even engaging in that in the first place with that person. Maybe you're asking yourself, the next like the next in the morning you're like okay so is this a relationship is this a one night stand is this a is this a oh my god a lot of questions and one of the funny things that i guess all of us have done is you have sex with somebody and then the very next morning you go to the bathroom to dress up like sweetheart for crying out loud maybe he almost saw your intestines okay he saw him maybe he saw all your internal organs so I definitely get to me it is a normal stage it is a normal stage that everybody goes through in life and maybe the way to deal with it i would say part of it i would say having body confidence because if you think you look good and if you feel you look good after having sex it will just reduce some of that awkwardness i can't say there's a best way to deal with it to me it just comes and then after some time it goes away even with my husband, I guess we went through that stage, but you know, after some time it goes away. That's what I would say. I got this question as well from um, oh, 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 Nana. Thanks, girl, for dropping me this question. She had uh, this is it dry spells. How does it feel? What's going through your mind during that time? Any solutions? Basically, if you don't want to do dry spells, that's the, the period during your relationship, during your marriage. When you're not feeling your partner, you know, oh my God, no matter what he or she does, you're like, mm. and most often women go through it. Um, personally, let me speak for myself. I've been married for like what? Ah, this year, we are in my um, August. Yeah, we are in August. This is my anniversary month. Oh my God, <laughs> I have completely forgotten. But um, I've been married for like two years, almost two years, basically. Um... Honestly, sometimes in Dubai, things get so stressful. I'm so sorry, that was my air freshener. 
sometimes things get really really stressful work and so many other things it does affect me all round but i am just so so grateful that i have a partner that we sit down to have conversations when things are not moving right we sit down to have proper honest conversations about how to improve how to make things better but the one thing i'll say dealing with them one of the things is talking about it not focusing so much on the problem more of looking for solutions and to me it is you have to there, there are so many things to explore of course it's the, especially on the woman's body especially on the woman's part because I, I don't think men really go through dry spells mostly women experience that for one reason or another maybe due to childbirth or a lot of things but what I would say is there are so many things you guys can change you guys can switch up the positions I can't believe I'm saying this yes but that is true you can switch up the positions you can do, try different things when it comes to foreplay there is so much just try to research about what to do and yeah i think that'll be a good way to deal with dry spells in relationships or in marriage i got this question from my babe therese she said i have issues with my body especially after baby my uh, after my baby she has a beautiful daughter my confidence level when i am in front of the mirror sucks i try to build it over and over but it still sucks what can you propose please the first thing I would love to tell every mom watching my video is for crying out loud, you birthed a miracle. You, you gave birth to life. Nothing ever in this world comes close to that, okay? Just, I think the first thing I'll tell you, Therese, is every time you feel like shit, just look at your daughter and then I think this feeling of self-worth will just come back to you. That's the one thing I'll tell you sincerely. Number two, to me, it is every, every, just know that you're not alone in this situation. Every woman that has given birth uh, probably at some point feels like shit. Of course, a good diet would help, honestly. And by the way, the person sending me this message, she looks bomb. Her body is amazing. Girl, you are, you are amazing just the way you are, okay? But I think a good diet will help. Exercise as well will help and also you know surrounding yourself with people that don't make you feel like shit because honestly sometimes you could be doing everything you can and then the people around you imagine so they always have something negative to say like ah oh, look at the stretch marks on your tummy ah the tummy is so their tummy is so uh, oh my god it's so flappy and no 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 just eliminate people like that because you don't need it at that point in time i just think you can you are the only one who can build your self-confidence don't compare yourself. It's like you looking at me and wanting to look like me. For crying out loud, I don't, I don't, I've, not, I've not birthed a child yet. It makes sense that your body will look different from mine. But the difference is you produced a miracle. Dolly has not yet. So that's what I will tell you, sweetheart. Do you think it's easy to have a sex-free relationship nowadays? Is it a myth? Is it very important while dating? in my humble opinion i think it is very very possible in this day and in this age in this digi uh, digital age to practice abstinence in a relationship yes of course i think relationships is two people coming together you get it and if you know what you want you just have to you know talk to that other person express your your you know your your point of view um, where you come from the reason why you want you know abstinence in your relationship yes it's still very very possible i mean we have virgins still so to me if you if that is the path you want to follow which is the right path of course to practice abstinence in your relationship and you speak to um, the boy asking you out and they're like hell no they are not doing that they let him bounce he's not he no he doesn't he, he's not there for the relationship relationships are not all about sex there is so much to it there is just so so much to it so yes i believe it may it may sound impossible but in my opinion it is doable people can actually practice abstinence in relationships even in this current uh age okay this is where things get very um interesting I got this question. Is squirting involuntary urination? <laughs> Whoa, I may have to do research to answer this question. Is squirting involuntary urination? Okay, I'm going to throw this question right back to you. Anybody watching this video, feel free to drop a response to this question. Is squirting involuntary 
urination i don't think so because no 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 thinking about it again squirting when you squirt it doesn't smell it's not urine no no i no my answer to this my my answer to this question is no it is not urination that's one thing i would say is it okay if one person come and the, and not the other well it i would say it depends generally the answer is no one person is not allowed to have all the fun in the when you're doing the do while the other person does not have fun both people in my humble opinion are, are, are supposed to you know enjoy have fun uh, but honestly i would say it's not every time again that you know i get there and it's absolutely fine that is me that is dolly maybe we another girl should be like if she she, she did not just have mind-blowing sex if she did not come okay so yeah it's up to her partner to make her come but to me that question is very relative it depends on each individual but for me if you ask me a hundred uh, out of a hundred i would say 98 or 99 percent yes it has to be mutual you know both of us are supposed to be feeling the fun in this thing okay how do you handle dry spells in marriages hmm one thing i'll say is um some people go through some people experience marital bliss for after 20 years of marriage meaning maybe they don't really even know what dry spells are and some people even within the first years of marriage some people say the first years of marriage are the toughest are the roughest um some people experience dry spells during that time one thing i'll say is um hobby makes this joke as a matter of fact that when we were dating i used to be more not romantic but you know i used to make you know all the sexy things blah 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 now that i'm missus i seem to be my comfort zone um true i always give him the side eye when he says that but this is something that happens in a lot of this is me really really being open yeah but this is something that happens in a lot of relationships as well people get married and they get especially the woman because to me, as for the man, so long as he, he is clean, he takes a bath twice a day, he puts on good perfume, I'm good to go. But for the woman, uh, maybe after taking that bath, you need to smell nice. You probably, it feels good for you to wear enticing um, um, lingerie and even nightwear, you know. A lot of women get um, lazy in that domain and it could lead to dry spells. So to me, a solution in this whole thing is just treat hobby as your boyfriend hobby should treat you as the girlfriend like he should the things he did before while asking you out before you became his he should keep doing that even in marriage and the things you did as well for him you should keep doing it during marriage Dolly, you need to practice what you preach okay but that is what i'll say and again i think no one knows it all do research like how to do things differently try different things try the table try the couch try the floor try everywhere possible humanly possible in your home before you you can say okay i've tried it all and nothing is working try try the walls as a matter of fact <laughs> oh i got this question as well from lala living life thanks girl who is more likely to initiate sex a man or a woman the honest answer is most often it's the man but sometimes the women do sometimes i do sometimes hobby does so to me it depends but if we say most often women like to be pursued so she want to feel like you want her and all of that so most often the man will i got this question as well from pansy thanks girl um she asked hmm what kind of contraception are you using please don't quote me on this and please 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 just kindly check your gynecologist or whoever you're supposed to check just to make sure you you use the right contracep uh, contraceptive that works for you because for hobby and i we use the most often sometimes we use the the condoms but mm, 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 we don't like it it's not we, we dropped that long time ago we use the pull out method like i said don't quote me on this and don't try it as well if you are not sure i am fortunate to be married to a partner that has a lot of self-control like 100 percent self no okay fine i wouldn't say 100 percent, but like 99.9 percent .9 self-control so that is what works for us and that is the contraception i use as of now that is it for this video these are some of the questions that um some of you asked me thank you so so much i i hope
we just had that girl chat that girl chat moment right now where i answer some of your questions based on my personal experiences and stuff like that kindly share with me what type of contraception contraceptives you use how to get over dry spells in marriage i really really hope you guys enjoyed this girl chat we'll be doing more of this on different other topics so yes Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a big, big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Click the subscribe button in some way. And don't forget to drop a comment. See you guys in the next video. Bye.